Music's just been a, a major influencer in my life, and and you know this industry, um, you know I, I became uh, that much more engaged in when I got elected to the legislature and chaired the committee on arts, entertainment, sports, tourism, and internet media, and worked on the film tax credit. And this is one major piece of the tax credit that um, I think we believed was going to fix the problem uh, of of scoring leaving California, but it, it wasn't enough, and so. Uh, we need to come back and, and, and fix the problem. This is a major impact. Uh, I, I mean, you know, if you take, you know, $120 million, for instance, that's about equivalent to, um, you know, four plus thousand high wage union jobs in this state. I mean, so the numbers are pretty significant. It's just constant contact, you know, constantly going up to, to the Capitol, explaining to members why this is important, what it means to them, what it means to the industry, and why the existing credit within the existing program of 5% isn't enough and why there needs to be an extension of that um, and, and a broadening of that and, and what that looks like, which is uh, in large part this bill AB 1300. I've been very fortunate to have the advocates uh, working with me that I do in Local 47, Labor Fed and all the, all the composers and, and uh, you know, even my colleagues in the legislature as well as the entertainment industry as a whole from the studios. We all care about keeping California in this state. It's not about doing these incentives because we actually believe that we're going to have all the filming in the state of California and nowhere else. That's, that's, that's unrealistic and unachievable, uh, but we, we need our fair share and our fair share is more than what we have. And so these incentives really help us.